Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T, bringing you another video today and we gotta get into something a little bit different. Today we're talking about smart wallets. Now before I get started, I do wanna give a huge shout out to Exter for dropping me these wallets to review. So let me go ahead and keep it a buck with you. Let me go ahead and keep it all the way transparent. Before Exter reached out to me, I had no idea who they were as a company. So they reached out to me, I looked at their website, checked their social media out, saw they made some very nice quality products. So I said, you know what? Go ahead and send them in. I will feature them on the channel. Let's go ahead and get them in here. Let me get them. So I got them in. I set them to the side for a little while. Then one day I was like, you know what? No, I need to get this review out. Let me start using this as my wallet. And I'm going to be real with you. Ever since that day, this is my go-to wallet. These are actually everything in there. My license, my credit cards, everything that you can think of is in this wallet. So don't think I just put this in here to do the review. No, I use this wallet as my everyday wallet. My old school old school wallet here is empty as you can see that that wallet is empty I, I can't fold it up i got some more stuff in there but that wallet is empty everything is in this smart wallet so let's go ahead and get into the wallet themselves man so um yeah they did send me three different styles they sent me the parliament they sent me the senate and they sent me the secretary so let's go ahead and get into them man i'm gonna go ahead and get into the parliament first because that is the one i have been using as my daily wallet. So taking a look at it, man, they're made out of a very nice, high quality leather. Now I've been using these for about a month, month and some change now, and it's actually been beginning to wear very well. It's not doing any fraying or anything like that. The stitching and everything is actually holding very well. And um, just a nice, high quality leather when it comes to it. So the main thing that you probably wanna know is what does it hold? How much does it hold? It's a slim wallet. No, there is no way it can hold more as the old school back butt wallet. So, yeah, this is aimed to store 10 plus cars. Now, I'm going to show you exactly how I have mine set up and we'll go from there. So the first right here, you have a pocket. You got this little flip pocket. It has two pockets here. I have one card, which is my driver license. On the inside, I have two other cards. Right here is going to be where you can put your cash. Now, right now, I have a Best Buy gift card in there. But if I didn't, I probably would have like 20, 40 bucks folded up. Slid it right in here to keep it a very thin profile. Now, I would not suggest you go out there and get $300 worth of 20s and try to ball it up and put it in here because it's not going to work. It's going to make the wallet very bulk bulky and it's going to defeat the whole purpose of having a slim wallet. So, just do, just a few bills. It's just, just a few dollar bills and you're good to go. But the main magic that happens when it comes to this wallet is going to be the card slot here where it holds six cards. Now, I'm pretty sure like how in the world I get to them, but you already see right here, you have your button. So what you're going to do is just press this button. And as you see, they kind of fan out kind of like in a stair type motion. So that's, that's actually very good. It's a cool little feature. This button doesn't get, you know, it's a very sturdy button. There's no really pressing it by accident. You have to really press that button to get the cards out. So you don't have to really worry about, you know, accidentally pressing the button, your cards coming out and losing them or something like that. No, but a pro tip that I would use is put your most frequently used card in the very back. So when you pop it out, it's easy to reach and you're good to go do your spending, go ahead and burn a hole in it. So that's what I would suggest. Put your most frequently used card in the very back. But yeah, that's basically it. Now, taking it over to the back, you see we do have a little slot. Now, this slot is what houses my the smart tracker. Now, we're going to get into this a little bit later, so we're going to put that to the side, but that's basically what this little back pocket, you can see it. I have an indentation of the actual tracker itself. So, here is the parliament, man. Really, really like this case. Like I said, this is the one that I super, super duper highly recommend, and actually... The folks over at Extra Man, we're going to do a giveaway. We're going to actually give one of these away. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see how you can actually win one of these. Now, we're going to get into the next ones. Now, these should be fairly quick because they're basically almost like the last one except missing a few features. Now, let's go ahead and bring them all in the frame. So this one right here, once again, is the Senate. Now, you do have that same pop-up card mechanism here. You have that same billfold little flap here. But you also, on this one, instead of having the, the flap, you basically get an inside pocket. So you can put some, you can put a few things on the inside and that's very elastic. You actually, if I think if you will put something in there, you don't really have to worry about a far and out money or anything like that. I think it'll stay pretty put. And on the back, you do get another slot because you can slide that tracker all the way in there and then you're good to go. Now I'm not going to slide it all the way in there because it's actually very tough <laughs> to get out. But if you also want to run this super minimalistic, say you're just a person who just carries a few cards, you can actually slide this off and just use this. If you're a person who don't carry much, 
you can use this. And this is probably the most minimalistic that you're going to get when we're talking about a wallet, man. So very nice RFD blocking. That is key when it comes to these wallets, man, because you don't want anybody skimming you, taking your information. You know they're bad people out here. So when you look at both of these wallets, they have a nice metal backing, a metal surrounding, so you don't have to worry about any skimming or anything like that taking place. And last but not least, now this one does also hold 10 plus cards. Last but not least, we're gonna talk about the, this is gonna be your secretary. This is the thinnest, minimalistic approach you can take, and this holds up to eight cards. So you probably could put two, four, six, eight in each slot, but then also on the inside, if you have a couple, you know, couple bills, you can slide in here. If you wanna use a tracker, you could pop that in there and still use it as a pretty thin wallet. So very nice wallets, man. And if you, and you think about it, if you compare it to an old school heavy duty wallet, look how much difference you're talking about when we're talking about just the size of the wallet itself. I don't even use this in my back pocket anymore because it's so thin. I usually put this in the front pocket, but back this right here, you can put it in your back pocket. You can just have a bunch of clutter when we are talking about an old school wallet. Converting to a smart slim wallet really cut down a lot of the clutter, a lot of the unnecessary business cards, and just a, it allows you to carry exactly what you need. And I think a lot of people can appreciate that in their life period. Anything time you can clean up something, that's definitely a biggie. So that's what I really like about that. So setting these to the side, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the smart tracker. Now, Exter has partnered with Chipolo, Chipolo, not sure, however you pronounce it, they have partnered with them, man, to allow us to have this smart tracker so we can actually place in our wallet. Now, the good thing about this 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 tracker is um they come with a they come with an app, so you get a standalone app. So let's go ahead and open this app up right here, and basically this is the, the app that you're going to get when we're talking about this smart tracker now once you first get it you will pair it up there's basically a qr code on the back you scan it it's going to pop up on your app put your name put your information in there and then you are good to go so the way this works is you already know if you happen to lose it you can definitely track it so let's go ahead and get to that you can actually track this if you want to so say you lose your wallet you're in a restaurant you pay you leave your wallet on the table and you walk out first thing that's going to happen is you can ring to find it so say you don't have it let me ring it Boom, or if you're near it, just go ahead and ring it and the extra itself will ring. So you can go ahead and stop that. Now, vice versa, let's go ahead and change situations. Say you're like me and you're always misplacing your phone. You can actually, and then you have your wallet on you, you can actually double tap the tracker and it's gonna ring your phone. So I think that's a very nice feature. And another feature, if you happen to lose your wallet, forget your wallet, it has what it says here is out of range alerts. Now there's, every time I go walk the dog, Extra and, and Chipotle was going to let me know like, hey, did you leave your wallet behind? Did you leave me behind? So that's a good feature as well. And I don't even get that far before it lets me know. So that's another good feature. Um, going down the list of options, you can do it with Siri. So you can do it with Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant. But on this one, we have Siri. So we're going to say, hey, Siri, ring my Exter. Boom. And you see it does start ringing extra, so you can just hit stop ringing there. And you can also change the ringtone. They have a few different ringtones. They got Deck the Hall, Jingle Bells, Merry Christmas. So you can do all of that. Change them how you want to. And you can also take a selfie. Now, this is basically the view that you're looking at right now. So if you want to take a selfie, you can just take it with the actual tracker. So you say you're somewhere you need to take a remote selfie. Double tap that. Boom and it's gonna take a selfie and you can kind of do as you wanna do. So that's what's pretty cool about this app, man. You can actually, it shows your location. Now I'm not really gonna put it up because that's my actual location, but it'll let you know where this is at all times and just a very nice app. Now the way this is actually charged is the solar power. So you see you have a solar power panel right there. So that, if you charge it up, leave it out in the sunlight for two hours, you're gonna get 33 months, I'm sorry, three months of charging if you leave it out for two hours. Hours. So that is super clutch, man. I haven't charged it probably since I've owned it and I've had it for a few months now. So that's actually very, very good. Now I'm pretty sure you're probably like, all right, T, let's get down to the nitty gritty of it. What is the price when it comes to these wallets? Now the parliament is going to run you 69. The Senate is going to run you 59 and the secretary is going to run you 39. And the smart tracker itself, I think is about $39 separate. But here is the good thing about today, man. So if you're watching this video, you are able to get, get into the giveaway. 
We got a giveaway going of the Parliament. So if you want a Parliament Series wallet, just comment down below. That's all you got to do, man. Comment down below. And I'll probably give it to the beginning of next month. And I will probably choose somebody randomly. So comment down below with your Instagram hashtag or your Twitter. Whatever you want me to reach you at, reach, reach you at. Comment down below, put your IG tag, put your Twitter handle, and that's how I will contact you to win this. And I'll send the information over to Exer, and they're going to hook you guys up. But also, if you want to just go out and flat purchase one of these wallets, man, I do have a discount code, of course. So use technically T20 for 20% off your order over on Exer, man. So there will be a link down below, and it is an affiliate link. So if you do purchase something over there, man, it will greatly appreciate it. You know I get that little kickback. So I really would appreciate it, man. But yeah, that's it. This is going to be your extra smart wallets, man. This isn't a video that I'm just displaying someone's product. This is something that I really use on the everyday basis, man. So don't get it twisted. Don't think I'm out here just reviewing these products and and it, it does like that. No, I mean, I'm actually reviewing these products, man. And uh, you can kind of see the thinness of the actual tracker itself. Almost like two credit cards there. So I had to just add that real quick. But yeah. Here it is, man. Extra wallets. Definitely go check them out. Tell them I sent you. But until next time, we're going to get up out of here, man. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about some of these smart wallets. Let me know if you want to see me do some more of these. And uh, Extra also makes some iPhone cases. So I might got to get with them, see if we can get some of their cases on the channel. But um, take it to you. I'm about to get out of here. Like, comment, hit that subscribe if you rock with your boy. But until next time, later.